Let's talk about cryptocurrency. Bitcoin is cryptocurrency, and cryptocurrency isn't physical money. It exists only online. But remember, today most money exists online. Think about those paycheck deposits into your account, or how you can tap your debit card at a store. It's a digital currency that exists in zeros and ones in some computer somewhere. But that money is government issued, and as such, we all agree to respect it as being worth something. You, me, corporations, banks, we all adhere to the idea that $10 is $10. That's where cryptocurrency is different. It isn't issued by a government or a bank. Bitcoin was invented in 2008 by an anonymous inventor who calls themselves Satoshi Nakamoto. Nakamoto developed what's called a decentralized system. Now a traditional bank is a centralized system. All payments enter and leave through one central hub. Whether a debit card on your account, or a check, or a request from a teller, if you make a deposit or a withdrawal at a bank, it's all recorded on the bank's ledger. Bitcoin uses a kind of ledger too, a decentralized virtual one. It's a string of letters and numbers that exists in the online world. In order for people to have trust in it, Bitcoin still needs to have checks and balances to be as secure as a national currency or money in the bank. And that's where Bitcoin's ledger comes in, called the blockchain. A blockchain is a time-stamped virtual ledger that holds a growing list of transactions. Each copy updates at the exact same time, keeping the system accurate. And the copies are updated through something called Bitcoin mining. Here's how. Some of the people holding the ledger are miners. They're not mining for gold or precious metals. Instead, their computers are put to work mining blocks of data. These blocks help them act as auditors for the blockchain. These miners are trying to check the letter number combination of that particular Bitcoin transaction. So they do this by solving a math puzzle unique to that transaction. Once the puzzle is solved and the miner finds the right number, it proves that this is the only time that Bitcoin has been sent. When all the people holding the ledger confirm they're on the same page, they record that transaction. How do miners get paid? You guessed it. Bitcoin. So the miners have an incentive to keep doing the auditing work and keep the currency going. Meaning there's no need for a bank or government body to manage all that money. Even though all those Bitcoin transactions are public, we have no idea who the people behind them are. Like Satoshi Nakamoto, Bitcoin's inventor, his or her or their identity is still a total mystery. 